Hey guys, welcome back. Ronin Man here. You probably noticed that my surroundings are a bit different. It's because I moved. So yeah, uh, we're going to be looking like this for a while until I figure out something different, um, if at all. But um, we're past all the uh, the moving and the stressfulness and all that stuff. So and we're getting right back into this. Um, so uh, today we're going to be doing episode 22, uh, which is called Scandal. Uh, so we, uh, from what I've been hearing or reading uh, from your comments and what I've been seeing here, we're pretty much going to be doing all Laughing Man stuff from here on out for the rest of the season. Um, so I'm excited for that. And uh, so, yeah, um, last episode was pretty gnarly, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that the major was really pushed to uh, to a limit, you know, um, had to take on that giant mech and getting her head smashed into the ground and stuff like that. But she came back on top uh, with my help. Oh, not with my help. Uh, I didn't do anything. Uh, with help from my one of my favorite characters, uh, Saito, uh, sniping the guy off first. So, um, and then she took over and just went ham on him. But uh, so that was really cool. Really great episode. Really great action. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't yet, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, appreciate it. Any time that you give, uh, if the, give the channel. So. Um, I do also have a Patreon, um, and thank you uh, to my patrons so far uh, that I've jumped on. Um, I, For right now, I just have a $5 tier, and that gets you a week ahead of the YouTube drops. So, um, so yeah, it's a um, pretty simple thing right now. Um, and once the channel gets growing, then I'll start adding more tiers and with more benefits and things like that. So, uh, But uh, we're going to go ahead and start uh, jumping into this here. I got to like refigure out my spacing here. Hopefully it's okay, but I think so, because it's going to be like right here, right? In this area. They're here. Aramaki won't get any further than me. Tell him that. Taking care of business now. the fuck out of the way. <laughs> Euro Chief Nimi, I have a warrant here for your arrest. You're being charged in the murder tied to the investigation of the Sunflower Society, as well as the death of Mr. Imakarusu. It's absurd to think that I had anything whatsoever to do with the ordering of Imakarusu's death. The head of the Narc Squad, a man named Gia Yasuoka, is much more willing to talk than we expected. You're screwed, buddy. So as you can see, you and I have a great deal to discuss. Fine. Let's get this over with. Take him. We got you, buddy. We got you lying. Sindeman. Hello. That incident with my daughter. Excellent work. Thank you. That I was merely doing my job. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. I'm sure you know that someone's pulling Nimi's strings. Any idea yet who it is? You know I can't comment on that. Secretary General Yakshima. <laughs> the man has some very scary friends, and he'll use them if he's backed into a corner. This isn't something that's widely known, but he has a lot of pull with the Navy. Thanks for the warning. That guy's really come around. Uh, kind of a dick in the beginning, but... What is this powered exoskeleton? A toy the Narc Squad was able to get their hands on, but we're not quite sure how. The Major took it on. She overheated in a fight, and now she's swapping her body for a new one. What you said before, about your eyes getting hacked, the same thing happened to me. I'll leave this file here with you for now. If I was Togus, I'd be like wanting to hear about that story with the Major for sure. This is... Wait, you mean the Laughing Man? You're welcome, Tokusa. There's that list you've been looking for. Oh, wait, they... He, never mind. He, he saw it for a second already, so... Section 9. I called earlier... Gee, you should let a person know when you come into a room. And I'd like the complete file for the Narcotic Suppression Squad. That'd be pretty crazy to be working somewhere and have someone cloak just walk in. It's just part of the job. Do you mind? I'm with Kyoto Sports. How did you get in here? So anyway, get out of here, man. If I could ask you a few questions. Take a look. This man here is your older brother, isn't it? In case you hadn't heard, your brother Yosuke was arrested the other day and is being charged with drug trafficking. Right? <laughs> My picture! Wait! <laughs> Sucker! This looks just like the prosthetic body you have now. Why didn't you order a custom job? Ooh, it makes me hot to imagine what you could do with all this. As long as you're here, would you zip me up? Mm-hmm. The doctor sure is late. I wonder what's keeping him. Damn. <laughs> uh, all right. That's got to be a crazy, like, procedure where, um, 
you're you're literally there to swap bodies like that's such a crazy future to that we could possibly have someday who knows hmm. this episode's popping off a little bit apologize for keeping you waiting i'll be in charge i'm sana at this time i have to ask the official witness to wait outside the room i'm going to power down your networking functions and they'll remain off during the transfer I'm just going to take a little look under the hood, if you don't mind. Ah, oh, good. You have a fine body. Something's up with this chick. The old man's late. That's not normal. I'll track him down then. <laughs> oh, we'll find him. Hmm. He's already come and gone. His car's in the invited refugee residential district. In a dangerous place like that? I'm heading over to check it out. Go, Bato. <gasps> yeah, that's kind of a shady place to be. Probably shouldn't be walking around there in a suit either. Yosuke! Yosuke, it's really you! I take it then you know Yosuke. Hey, you're Yosuke's little brother, aren't you? I knew it right away. You look just like him. I'd like for you to tell me what happened, if you wouldn't mind. It's a setup. It's a shady. I was able to record everything the police did. It's on this disc. This is proof that Yosuke is innocent. It sucks that he he lost his brother somewhere in life and he's looking for him. There doesn't appear to be signs of a struggle. So he's here of his own free will. Can you pull up the video from inside? The chief is talking with two men. The signal's rough. Can you clean up the sound? Ishkawa, I found the current faces of the three remaining NARC squad members. I think we see like we can see where this is going. What's the meaning of this? You're wasting your time. You won't find anything. Look at this. God damn it, you bring me, you bastard. Let go of me. I figured as much the whole thing was a setup. Your skate's clean. In all the time I've known him, I've never seen him go anywhere near drugs. I swear. Not even once. Well, that's them. Thank you both. I'll repay you someday. It's okay. Because you're not gonna live that long. Huh? Damn. Major. Uh, and you can't reach her right now. Those two? What's wrong? Look. Damn, Narks! The cops are gonna be here soon. Your bitch friend. Yeah, uh, what the hell have they done? Let's go, Bato. You gotta get in there, Bato. Beat the shit out of him while you're at it. Oh, and this bitch. Oh, God. Reason we can't take our time and enjoy this. Or could it be that you don't like me? No offense, but that's it exactly. <laughs> My, someone's in a bad mood. I've decided to lock down your speech center. It's not as if someone would come to your rescue anyway, no matter how loud you shouted. Oh no, they drugged her too. <laughs> Mr. Kusanagi, uh, is Laughing Man going to come to the rescue? Now? Oh my, what a rebellious look. <laughs> Nature's pissed. You and your friends went a little too far this time. The cops are there. Oh man. Yeah, see him. Well, Laughing Man's there, so hopefully do something about it, so... Get him, Bato. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Crap. Come on, old man. <laughs> Bato not only whooped their t both their asses, but also got the chief out of there. Is this some kind of joke at my expense? You're giving off some unpleasant brainwaves. Why not use my eyes for the time being? You're the laughing man, aren't you? This is the third time we've met. Did you know that? What did you come here for? To get you to help me. From where I stand, you've got that backwards. I figure if that son of a bitch god hasn't completely turned his back on me, you might actually lend me a hand. Blasphemous, <laughs> and yet polite at the same time. I'm going to tell you the whole story behind the Laughing Man incident. After that, I'd like you to stand back and do nothing while I face my final challenge. It's pretty awesome that he's just gonna give her the entire story. 
The mark of an immature man is that he wants to die nobly for a cause, while the mark of a mature one is that he wants to live humbly for one. I sensed this about you the first time I met you. It's a quality that I dislike intensely. <laughs> Go do what you have to do. I don't know if I'll be able to keep my word, though. If I know you, you will. Let's go. I leave you my memories. That'd be so crazy. It's up to you now. I wonder if people can only like handle that because they've been cyberized. Like, cause I can't imagine just taking on someone else's memories and like being affected by them and things like that. I'm going to let you die peacefully now. About to whoop your ass. <laughs> oh shit, get the fuck out of here. Literally kicked her into next week. What's up? Don't worry, it's nothing. Major. All oh, part of the procedure. Got to the old man. Mr. Nimi. Oh, Chief. Trying to kill himself. How's that new prosthetic body of yours? Well, see for yourself. But there's some good news and some bad news that I have to tell you. The bad news first. Bureau Chief Nimi attempted cyberbrain suicide. And unfortunately, that means that his testimony is legally inadmissible as evidence. Damn. Now it's time for me to tell you some good news. We've heard rumors, and it might be that your brother really was over there. The huh. fact of the matter is that while I'm out there trying to expose the truth, I've been completely ignorant of the knowledge that somewhere out there under the cold sky, my brother is alive. Ah, uh, poor Aramaki. Well... You'll keep fighting the good fight, won't you? Everyone came out okay. Fucking narc squad. And we're done. I was trying to find a moment to, to talk in there just to like even mention. Um, I can't imagine like doing things in my life that are like fucked up to a point where I get arrested and rather than dealing with the consequences i would rather just commit suicide i can't imagine like like how bad do you have to like fuck shit up to do that i i can't imagine but i guess if you have power you know it maybe it's like more likely or easier to you know escalate things in your life to that to that extent but yeah, the fact that, that the guy got caught and he's like, okay, well, I guess I'd rather die than deal with this shit. And it's like, well, then was it really worth it then? You know, if you're going to do something and, and, and all it takes is for you to get caught for you to then to jump to the conclusion to just end it all. I just don't understand how that was worth it. You know, like, like if I did anything wrong, I would have to at least like come to terms with like the you know the, the consequences with that and be able to survive the consequences at the same time but um yeah it's just such, such a crazy concept a lot of crazy concepts in this one uh especially with the the merging of the memories because I, I did also think of something um when laughing man and, and the major linked up like that she's fine and all that stuff and like you know i was thinking about the episode um I think it was the last episode or the one before that. Uh, no, it was the last episode, I think, um, when they were linking to Tokusa's memories. And even just that little bit, like, affected Bato in that way. And um, granted, everybody else was kind of okay with it, but, like, but they're still, like, you know, they went through something. But, like, Major seemed pretty unfazed by it. And I'm just wondering if, like, she's just on that next level of consciousness of being able to, to handle someone else's memories and still kind of have her own identity and separate the two and all that stuff because to literally have information of someone else's memories in, in your head is like you know that's got to be a trip right so but that's a uh, really crazy so now major has the whole story in her in her head now uh for laughing man imagine just being given the whole thing all the, the whole truth of, of all that rather than having to investigate the shit out of it to find out for yourself just to find yourself in that situation and the man himself just walks up to you and it's like here it is here's the whole story um but uh another cool episode we had to, we had to tie up some loose ends with the with the narc squad 
but uh but we got through it and um everyone's fine but obviously we got some episodes to go so maybe there are more threats imminent threats uh just up ahead so um but that's it for me on this episode um thanks guys for watching uh and uh, we'll go ahead and see you next time